Popping up black windows once you go down You must be crazy if you think that I'ma slow down But wanna hear it talking shit from the drama I'm coming up and said you drink your mama Mr. Whip, 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 in the gun time Dropping bodies in the place till the sun time Can't stop the music, go to the drive If I'm gonna fly, I'm the I best with the dime All right, what is going on YouTube? Been roughly four months since I last uploaded a video. Hope everyone had a good winter, but spring is officially here. So that means it is time for me to start posting again. Um, this is not gonna be a moto vlog. This video has something to do with another purchase I have made recently. Um, as some of you know, for the past five years, I've been daily driving a 2008 Dodge Ram 2500 Hemi four-wheel drive and kicking the ever-living dog snail out of it. Um, about three weeks ago now, three weeks ago tomorrow, I said goodbye to the truck and I bought another Honda. So this video is to introduce you to my new, to me, 2022 Honda Civic Si. As you can see, I went with the all black. I was looking at one of the gray ones, the gray body with the black wheels, black mirrors, black grills, and all that good stuff. But they wanted a couple grand more for it just because of the color and it had more miles on it than this does. So I'll take the murdered out all black. Oh, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Everything about this car so far. Like the red seats, the SI embroidered in them. Get the red on the doors, the infotainment in them. The six speed manual transmission is phenomenal. All right, so this car comes equipped with a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. Down here, you can see the little baby turbo. I'm not gonna touch it, I just drove it here, so she's warm. But 1.5 liter turbo. The uh, Honda says from the factory, this 1.5 liter turbo makes about 200 horsepower. That is paired with a six speed manual transmission. It's not gonna focus. Got the man pedal on the left over there. That is the only way you can get a sport model Honda is with a manual transmission, as it should be. This car factory comes with 18 inch wheels wrapped in Goodyear Eagle Sports. They are a 235 40 18 from the factory nice setup so the radar and stuff like that that helps control your adaptive cruise control yell at you when you're too close to a car and tell you to brake stuff like that that is no longer in the bumper on these cars that way when you're taking your bumper off because you're about to do a PRL intercooler or anything like that, you don't have to worry about those sensors. Those are all up here now. No more sensors in the bumpers. This, unlike the, 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 the sport touring models and stuff like that, does not have the cameras in the mirrors. Trying to save weight here does come with this sweet little duck bill. Yep, does nice, does nice, very nice. As far as your exhaust goes, you've got a dual 
dual tips, one on this side, one on that side, two tip. I'm glad they got rid of the USB port thing that they had in the center of the 10th gens. Don't get me wrong, I love the 10th gen Civics, but that USB port exhaust was terrible. All right, so sitting in the car now, very roomy, very comfortable. I am a 5'11", six foot tall person, depending on shoes. 5'11", no shoes, six foot with shoes. Um, I'm very comfortable. Plenty of access to foot pedals and stuff like that. I'm not overly crowded. I am a bigger person. I'm 250, 260. Uh, I fit very comfortable, comfortably in these bolsters in these seats. I fit very comfortably. They're not too small for me. Um, they hug me real well, real well. However, if you are bigger than six foot, 250, 260, uh, they are a little snug. Just as a heads up, in case you're bigger than me trying to buy one of these cars. The front seats are a bit snug if you're bigger than 5'11", 6 foot, 250, 260. So like I mentioned before, you got the nice red and black inlay on the door cards, a nice shiny, glossy black shiny piece here. I like the red trim especially around the vents that go all the way through the car. Just very nice looking interior. You got two cup holders here. Here you've got your six speed manual transmission, which again, feels phenomenal when driving. Very well gated. I've only missed a shift once. Um, you got your drive mode button here. E-brake, auto stop start button here, and brake hold here. Up here, you have your data connection cable port, which will also charge. A charging USB port, which will only charge, no data transfer. And then you've got your 12 volt source. Up here, you've got your temperature, your climate controls. Modes, on off, all tactile, nice clicky buttons. Let's turn that off now. This, this, I love this. I find myself playing with it and I like I don't ever use my heat or anything because it's been super nice here lately. But I love these little dongles that they give you to adjust your vents up and down, left and right. Love these little dongles. So over here, you got your glove box. It's not very big. It's got enough room in it to hold the paperwork from the dealership you bought it in. And the owner's manual, pretty much, that's about it. It's not very deep, but it'll hold some things. Brother gave me this, strongly considering putting it on the car. Charmander's my shit. Over here, you've got your infotainment system. This is the home screen. You got your all apps, phone, FM, Bluetooth, Android Auto, trip commuter, USB, vehicle settings, general settings, clocks, Honda Link, AM, system updates, app installer. Don't know how well this is gonna show up on the, uh, the GoPro, but. Uh, one feature I love about this, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are wireless. You do not have to be plugged into this for that to work. It will run right off your Bluetooth. I generally have mine set up like this. My Pandora is ripping over here. I got a map going over here. So you got your Honda app, maps, Pandora messenger, text messages, phone settings, customize, allows you to change the backgrounds and everything like that. But, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this so much. The steering wheel has this nice red stitching all the way around, as does the shift boot and shift knob itself. Steering wheel has most of your newer car's functions in it. You know, song choices, volume up and down, home button. This knob allows you to switch between your menus up up on your dashboard and stuff. Nice Honda badge. 
lane departure warnings and stuff like that, cruise control settings. The one thing this is missing though, well, I guess it's not missing because it's a US model, but the Canadian version has a heated steering wheel. The Canadian SI has a heated steering wheel and heated seats. Features we did not get here in the United States. So down here by your driver's knee, you've got your lane departure stuff and your traction control buttons, your how bright you want your, your gauges and everything is right here. Trunk release is here. Now, if you're anything like me, you can't drive around without music. So luckily, the 11th Gen Civic Si comes with a pretty bumping Bose stereo system. I would hit play on Hardy and let it roll for you, but I don't. I ain't got that kind of pull, so I ain't got uh, I ain't got the rights to play that stuff. And I don't have any uncopyrighted music currently with me to play for you. But you can take my word for it. The Bose sound system in this car bumps it bumps it bumps now inside the car when you're driving it it is incredibly quiet you don't hear shit you don't hear the intake you don't hear the turbo you really only hear the exhaust when you are to the floor higher rpms like getting after it she's quiet but luckily there are companies that make things to change that however I'm sure you guys would like to know what it sounds like, so I will give you a start up and a couple of quick little revs. So that's what she sounds like stock. A couple little revs for you. Quick little bum 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 bum. She's quiet. She's quiet. All right, guys. So I'm going to set up the GoPro real quick. See if I can get a clip maybe rolling by. See if you can get a clip of what it sounds like when it's actually driving. I'm in a parking lot, so I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this. But I'm going to try. So see what happens. put 2,328 miles on this car in the past three weeks I've owned it. 1,600 of those miles, three days after I bought it, I drove it down to North Carolina to my brother's house. On the highway for that 1,600 miles, it's 800 miles one way, so 1,600 miles round trip, averaged 40 miles per gallon on the highway now my cruise control was set at 80 that's right around 3,000 rpms in six gear that's what I did 12 hours straight all the way down all the way back 40 miles per gallon in the Ram it cost me a thousand dollars round trip to do that trip this bad boy this bad Larry right here, fun as hell, but sips the gas. Hundred and sixty bucks round trip. It was eighty bucks. Two fuel stops. Down, two fuel stops back. Hundred and sixty bucks round trip. Now, 
with all my spirited driving around town and my 20 minute drive to work every day on the highway and stuff like that, I have managed out of my 2,329.1 miles I've put on this car, I am averaging 35.4 miles per gallon over the life of the three weeks I've had the car, which is freaking phenomenal considering it's not a hybrid. Love this thing. Uh, one feature this car does have is auto rev match on downshifts, it, which eliminates the need to heel toe coming into a corner. You never have to take your foot off the brake until you're ready to put it on the gas. Literally, you push the clutch in, that's it. No heel toe. Push the clutch in. Did you hear that? Automatically did it for me. Now granted, I'm doing 35, so going to second probably wasn't the best idea, but I wanted to show you. I don't know if you could hear it do that or not, but it does it. Auto rev match, that is a feature you can turn off if that's not something you're interested in. But guys, I am madly in love with this car already. It's been three weeks and I love this car. Uh, future plans for the car, I would like pretty much the entire PRL catalog for this. Uh, the high volume intake, charge pipes, in, in, uh, turbo inlet pipes. They are currently working on a bolt-in turbocharger for this. Um, down pipes, intercooler, intercooler piping, you name it. If it, PRL makes it, I want it for this car. I want it. And if it's in, if it's currently in like the making, they're working on it, you know, research and development. When it comes out, I want it. Like the turbo, it's not out yet. I've seen a couple YouTube videos about it and I want it, I want it, I want it. The turbo, they put it in a 22 SI, put it on the dyno and it wound up making something like 410 horsepower. Not bad out of a little 1.5 liter with just a bolt-on turbo upgrade and a tune. That's not bad. That's not bad. And I feel like all this car really needs, for me anyway, a little bit more power. Oh, and I want to hear my turbo. I want to hear my exhaust. All that fun, happy jazz. I want to hear all that. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but I, you, you really don't hear this car. Especially if you're someone like me that always has the radio on when you're driving. It makes it hard to hear the car. I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world by any means, but it ain't slow either. It's an absolute blast to drive. Um, I am on a hill, so clutch in, put it in first, take your foot off the brake. One, two, three. You got a three second hill assist. For those of you that are just learning how to drive a manual transmission, it will give you a hill assist start stop. It also does the auto stop start at red lights to try and conserve gas. At first that was weird for me, um, but I'm getting used to it. You can't disable it. All you gotta do is hit this button down here that will disable the auto start stop so it doesn't kill the motor at red lights. Um, but I do find that the auto stop start in this car works incredibly well. The second you push that clutch in to put it in gear at a red light, fires right back up. There is really no delay. So that's nice. Yo, yo. This person's, I love it. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get a video so I can put it in.
riding his horse down the road. Oh man, that's awesome. That's so cool. I gotta, I gotta stop. I gotta pull over and stop. Riding his horse right down the road and his, his dog's on the sidewalk following him. I love it. I love it. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I had to. I had to. <laughs> I had to. That's awesome. He's literally just trotting his horse down the road. His dog's on the sidewalk just following him. That's so cool. Now, if I go over here to my, there's a turbo gauge. Uh, so far, I seem to average, like the most I see when, when doing a pull really is 13, 14 PSI. However, I did no lift shift this thing from third to fourth one time. And when doing that, it did spike 16 PSI. But it makes makes about 13, 14 pounds when you're really getting on it. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. I just... I love this thing. I'm so happy with my purchase. Um, I did pay a little over MSRP for the car. Uh, it only had 8,400 miles on it when I bought it. But as the car market goes nowadays, good luck getting anything for MSRP. Good luck. I'm also thinking I would like to put the car on BC coilovers, a set of 18 by 9, 18 by 9 and a half wide tires, or wheels, sorry, probably bronze. Um, do a decent tint on the windows, not too crazy, not too dark, because I would like to someday maybe do a track event with it. You know, like a, like an autocross or a time attack or something like that. I would like to go do some sort of grip driving with this car. Preferably an autocross or a time attack or something like that. Where I don't have to risk somebody bumping into me. But if the opportunity arises and someone says, hey, I'm going to a track day. Do you want to go? I'm gonna take it, so. Again, that auto rev match in this is flawless. Flawless.
let's see if we can find somewhere where I can have a little bit of fun. Have some spirited driving, as some would call it. I just call it fun. I just like to have fun.
Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a launch because I haven't done one yet. So we're going to hold 35. <laughs> Like I said, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but damn is it fun. Damn is it fun. turn around. I think that guy had a white one in his driveway. And if that's the case, I need to figure out who that guy is. So that way we can become best friends. Is that a white SI? It's not an SI. However, it's a sedan sport. We can still be friends. Hit me up. I'm in Maine. In Seiko. We can be friends. Hit me up. Let's go do Honda things. thing this does have an LSD in the front so the grip coming out of corners and stuff is mint it's good stuff it really is guys so on that note i am gonna wrap up the video as you just saw in my rear view camera the bike is out the bike is back i just got it back from ravex yesterday they did an oil change on it pre-season inspection and all that put a new battery in it for me because the battery unfortunately did not last the winter so the next video you guys get from me will be a moto vlog I'm excited to be back on the bike. I'm excited that final, warm weather is finally here. Um, and if you're excited, you want to see more moto vlogs, you want to see 11th Gen Civic SI content, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want me to do. Um, unfortunately, the parts lists for this car that I want. It's expensive, and the wife and I are trying to uproot our entire family and move down to North Carolina this summer. It's April, summer's two months away. So in the next two to five months, I will be moving. Um, but that will allow me to do moto vlogs and stuff year round, not just five, six months out of the year. Where I live now in Maine currently, I cannot, like the bike's been put away for almost five months now. 
That's why I haven't been uploading anything. I just got the car, so this is all new to me. But I will be doing bike things. I will be doing car things. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.